cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, these diseases have been around for a really long time, but where's the cure? Here to talk about how you may help find a solution is our good friend and colleague, Dr. Frida Lewis Hall, the Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clinical trials are the pathway to new medical breakthroughs. Unfortunately, not enough people are volunteering to participate in clinical trials. So I hit the streets of Hollywood to find out why. Excuse me, would you ever participate in a clinical trial? Well, actually I thought about it because I suffer from really bad migraines, but I hear that they're like super hard to get into. Well, every trial does have certain requirements. And women and minorities tend to be underrepresented in clinical trials, so we need volunteers like you. Excuse me, can you tell me what a clinical trial is? Isn't it your last option when you have a deadly disease? For some people it is, but people with any disease at any stage, and healthy people too can volunteer. Excuse me, would you ever participate in a clinical trial? No, I'm not gonna gamble on my health. We have a lot of explaining to do. We do have a lot of explaining to do. Kind of everybody had a different idea about what a clinical trial is. So maybe Dr. Travis, you can help kind of, you know, get us all on the same page here. Yeah, so here's the deal. Clinical trials are research studies. They answer questions to find more ways to prevent, screen for, and treat a disease. Hollywood doesn't help. It portrays, you know, this as these unregulated medical experiments with no concern for the people who are in them. But Authorized clinical trials are regulated by health authorities like the FDA who look to protect the health and the safety of people who participate in the clinical trials. Before they can be used, new medicines, medical devices like take this simple inhaler right here, or all these new innovations and other products like this exciting pill camera which you can swallow pain-free and can travel through your gut, take pictures of your intestines, and you don't even know it's there. All these things first have to be tested for safety and effectiveness, and we wouldn't even have these types of medical advances if we didn't have clinical studies. That's why they're so very important. This is how it works. Like with all medications or medical procedures, you're informed about potential benefits and risks. You have the opportunity to ask questions, you can decide to stop at any time. There's no magic wand and certainly no guarantee that treatment will be provided or that it will be effective. Sometimes people in a clinical trial, participants will get the cutting edge therapy. Sometimes they'll get the current standard of care and sometimes they'll get a placebo which doesn't have active ingredient in it. The key is we have so much left to understand about how diseases and treatments affect different people at different times in different ways. That's why we need people to participate in clinical trials. Patients don't often know how to participate in clinical trials, but sometimes it's as easy as going to your doctor's office. Sometimes their doctor doesn't actually refer them into a clinical trial. That's why we're having this conversation today. You know, as a physician and as a medical researcher, I have to say, I believe that volunteers in clinical trials are the true heroes of medical advancements. If you're interested in a clinical trial, you can find one simply by talking to your physician sometimes, or you can go on websites like centerwatch.com or clinicaltrials.gov. And of course, there's always information available on clinical trials on gethealthystayhealthy.com. Well, thank you for sharing this important message, and we'll also have more information as always at thedoctorstv.com. We'll be right back.